Okay, time to take a look at the Vivor microscope. So we got our instructions. Okay. One thing I can say I like about it right away is that it is already assembled. I've got two other microscopes and both of those I had to assemble when I got them. So this is going to save me a lot of time. It's definitely a nice looking machine. So we've got a light for the base. We can actually shine light through the object so we can better see it through the microscope. On off switch, we got our table height. And most importantly, this is a stereo microscope. We have some adjustability here so we can set that exactly how we want it. And we also have adjustability for our eyes. And this is pretty neat. We actually put a scale on the side so we know exactly how far we're moving. So that way we can get repeatability. It's got a spring-loaded holder. And we have four different lenses on here. It definitely looks and feels very nice. Got our power supply. It says it's 100 and 240 volts. So that's good for national or domestic. And it outputs two amps at 5 volts. And this is something that most microscopes do not come with. So it's pretty cool that this one does. This actually has a cell phone holder. So you can clip your cell phone in here and then attach that to the eye. So that way you can record on your phone what it is you're seeing through the microscope. And then we got two sets of lenses. So these are both 10x and these are both 25x. This is cool. So it comes with some lab equipment as well. So we got a Petri dish, we've got a sample collector, some tweezers, looks like we also got a bulb and a pin. We got all kinds of fun stuff in here. A little scraping razor. Oh, this is nice. So it even comes with a bunch of slides. That way we got something we can put our specimen on. Oh, nice. And so these are a bunch of covers. So we can take those slides and then we can pancake that specimen with this so that we don't have to worry about it moving around. You can see we got a whole bunch of them too. So we are not going to run out anytime soon. And last off, we got some cleaning stuff. We got, it looks like a gauze pad, a little driver, a little brush, and an alcohol pad. Nice. All kinds of fun stuff. Oh, this is neat. So it came with a frosted glass plate. So what this is going to do, in the event that the light coming from the bottom is too sharp, we can insert this into that holder, and that will diffuse the light coming through. So I'm going to drop in my 10X lenses. Cool. All right. Now I'm curious. That's cool, so yeah, it just slides right on. So it might be a little tricky getting this just right, but the idea is we wanna slide this around until we got it going right over our camera. So there might be some trial and error with just which lens you wanna use. Right now I am using the 0.5, and by that I mean the lens on the camera. And then this is actually two different dials, so the top one will move the table forward and backward, and the bottom one will move it left and right. And there's also an adjustment for the diaphragm. So I found a little flake. And I'm going to see if I can see what that looks like. And then we got the coarse focus and we have the fine focus. Look at that. That is cool. Oh, that's awesome. How <laughs> about that? I think that's probably one of the coolest things about this microscope is that with most microscopes, you have to put your eyes up to it and you can't really show somebody unless you have them look through it. And then getting somebody to be able to set the microscope up so that they can even see through it is kind of difficult. But with this, we can just show them right on the phone so they can see exactly what we're looking at. That's awesome. So I reset the phone for using the middle lens. So that's the one X. And yeah, that is just absolutely incredible what you can get out of this. Very, very cool. So yeah, that is a super cool microscope. I am very happy with that.